Lesson 5.6, credit cards. Our objectives for this lesson are to be able to calculate the interest on a credit card balance and to be able to calculate the monthly payment needed to pay off a credit card balance over a given period of time. The one thing we need to define for this lesson is average daily balance. Average daily balance is the average or mean amount owed on each day of a billing cycle and it's used for calculating credit card interest. So for example, if the billing cycle is 30 days, it's usually about a month, um, then we're gonna take the balance that was owed at the end of each of those days and add up all of those balances and divide by 30. That's gonna give us the average balance on any given day during that uh, billing cycle. And we're gonna use that average daily balance in this interest formula for credit card interest. It's, the interest is going to be equal to the average daily balance times the number of days in the billing cycle divided by 365. And then uh, we're gonna take that and multiply it by the, the annual interest rate as a decimal. So it's average daily balance times the number of days in the billing cycle divided by 365 times the annual percentage rate. Our first example says, suppose you have a credit card with an APR of 21.5%. Calculate the interest for the month of January if you began the month with a balance of $150 and you charged $75 on January 6th. To, uh, $125 on January 17th and $250 on January 25th. All right, so the first thing we need to do is calculate the average daily balance for this month. Um, so on the first of the month, we had a balance of $150. And since we didn't charge anything for those first five days, um, from the first through the fifth, our balance remained at $150. Then on the 6th, we charged an extra $75, so our balance went up to $225. And that continued until the 16th, because then on the 17th, um, we charged another $125, so our balance went up to $350. And that continued until the 24th, because on the 25th, we charged an extra $250, so that brought our balance to 600. And that continued until the 31st. So for the first five days of the month, we had a balance of $150. For the next 11 days, we had a balance of $225. Then for the next eight days, we had a balance of $350. And for the last seven days of the month, we had a balance of $600. So, what we need to do now is um, multiply this 150 times 5, because we had that balance on 5 days of the month. And we'll multiply this by 11, and this one by uh, 8, and this by 7. Make sure, make sure you're careful with how you're counting these, because there's a tendency to look at something like this and say, well, this is 10 days, because 16 minus 6 is 10. But if you count the 6th and the 16th, um, this ends up being 11 days. All right, so 150 times 5 is $750. 225 times 11 is 2,475. Uh, 350 times 8 is going to be 2,800. 600 times 7 is 4,200. And then we'll add up all of these amounts. So 4,200 plus 2,800 is 7,000 plus, uh, is, so 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,225. Uh, so 10,225 dollars is the total of all of the daily balances throughout the month. And then to get the average daily balance, we're gonna divide that by 31, which ends up being about $330. Um, but I'm not going to reduce that just yet, and I'll show you why. So 
the interest is going to be equal to our average daily balance, which is $10,225 divided by 31. And notice what's happening here. We're taking our average daily balance and we're multiplying it by all of this portion of our, um, of our formula is really just finding the interest rate for the billing cycle. So we're taking, there's 31 days in the month divided by 365. That just tells us what portion of the year is in the billing cycle that we're in. And then we're multiplying that by the annual interest rate. So that gives us the interest rate for just the month of January. Um, so what we're doing here is then we're going to multiply by 31 divided by 365. And notice what happens here. The 31s, we just divided by 31. Now we're multiplying by 31. So these are going to divide to 1. And we're left with just 10,225 divided by 365 and then multiplied by our interest rate, which is 21.5% or as a decimal 0.215. And if we multiply these out, 10,000, um, 10, divided by 365 times 0.215 gives us an interest payment of $6.02 for the month of January. Our second example says, suppose you have a balance of $12,500 on your credit card, which has an APR of 19%. If you make no additional charges on the card, how much will you have to pay monthly in order to pay off the balance in two years? So what we've done here is since we're not making any additional charges on the card, and we're trying to pay this off in equal monthly payments over a certain period of time, what we've done is we've turned this into an installment loan and we can use our installment loan formula to figure out how much this monthly payment is going to have to be. Um, so our formula is that the payment is equal to the starting principal times the annual interest rate divided by N, which is going to be 12 in this case because we're trying to make monthly payments, divided by one minus one plus R over N, to the n negative nt power. t here is going to be two because we're trying to pay this off in two years. All right, so this is going to be, our principal is $12,500. The interest rate is 0 0.19, 19%. We're gonna divide that by 12 because we're gonna make monthly payments. Um, and then all of that is gonna go over one minus 1 plus 0.19 divided by 12 to the negative 12 times 2 power. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to calculate the numerator and the denominator separately, and then I'll divide. The one thing you got to make sure of when you're doing that, though, is to carry this out to uh, at least five or six decimal places so that you're not... Uh, uh, not getting significant rounding error by rounding in the middle of our calculation. So 12,500 um, times 0.19 divided by 12 is gonna be 197.916667. So I've carried it out to quite a few decimal places. This is just six repeating. Um, and I've gone ahead and carried this out to six decimal places here. Um, down below, we're going to take 0.19 divided by 12. We're going to add one and then take that number to the negative 24th power. And then we're going to subtract that from one. And that's going to give us 0.314. 0997. All right. So, um, and now if we divide this, so we get uh, 197.916667 divided by 0.3140997. This gives us a monthly payment 
of $630.11. That's how much it's going to take in order to pay this off in two years.